on this place in history, a place with great military significance for the United States with the Vermont Historical Society. This is Steve Perkins. And Steve, what do we have here in Virgins? Well, we're at the base of the falls here at Virgins, and this is a, an incredible protected harbor. And it's been used by peoples for centuries, even up thousands of years, as a, as a place to build and camp. So in 1814, we're talking War of 1812, okay. The British were coming down Lake Champlain, and earlier on in the war, they had destroyed the couple of boats that we had on Lake Champlain, mm -hmm. so we needed a new navy. So where are we going to build the navy? Right here, over our shoulders in Virgins. We built the whole navy right there. Right there, yeah. And, you know, we're talking yeah. navies. We're not talking, you know, 200 ships. We're talking four or five ships, two, okay. two substantial boats, and then a lot of gunboats here as well. But the U.S. sent um, a, a commodore, which is a, a naval term for a guy who's in charge of a fleet mm -hmm. of boats but is not necessarily an admiral. So there you go. Okay. Um, so Commodore McDonough comes up to Virgins and builds this fleet here, and then he sails it north on Lake Champlain um, to Plattsburgh. And there was a big battle in September of 1814, and the British fleet was defeated at the Battle of Plattsburgh Bay. And that secured northern New England from uh, the English invasion of 1814. So the battle was won in Plattsburgh, but it started right here. Started right here, built the boats right here. Well, you know, Virgins has a really outsized role in this particular war. They contributed a lot of troops and a lot of leaders. Mm -hmm. And so there was a family, the Strong family. Uh, John Strong was a general in the American Revolution. His son, Samuel Strong, was a general in the War of 1812. That he led all of the Vermont troops um, who fought at the Battle of Plattsburgh, both mm -hmm. on the water um, and he was on the land. And so we have some great artifacts in our historical society that relate to uh, General Samuel Strong. Like what? Well, today I brought a sword. Everybody oh, loves swords, yeah, right? right? So we're going to crack out a sword. All right. So this, this sword was given to General Samuel Strong by the state of New York in recognition of his leadership at the Battle of Plattsburgh. Now, the Battle of Plattsburgh was the biggest battle of the War of 1812 until Jackson won in New Orleans a few months later. So this was a really big deal. Um, so the state of New York he gave this sword uh, to uh, General Strong and actually has etched into the scabbard. It has a depiction of the battle, so you can see there's huh. battle taking place on land and on sea on Lake Champlain. And now what are you looking through right here? So we have this great viewfinder of Virgins Falls, and this is a photo from 1857, and we have older pictures, prints and drawings of these falls, you know, going back to the 1700s. They really haven't changed. So this area of Virgins has been uh, integral to commerce and construction um, since the time of the Native Americans. Um, so it's kind of really cool. It hasn't changed much, so you can come here today and you can visit these falls and see it as all these different peoples did. Virgins Falls on this place in history.